we are back with another one. And today on day five countdown, we're gonna see what awaits us, but another 90s miracle in the making. Are you guys ready for this? Let's see today what we have. What do we have today? Uh, it is Coca-Cola. Look at that, Coca-Cola Pogs, guys. Slammers randomly inserted. We'll see if we get one. You guys remember the commercials back in the day with the polar bears and Coca-Cola, especially around Christmas time? I always liked those. I even had a poster with the, the bears on it. So that became a problem. So we have the first one. We got the rules. Six different Slammers. Good old-fashioned Coca-Cola, baby. Let's see if we get a Slammer or not. Starting out, we got a very happy Ice Cube. He looks like he's, you know, it's like Frosty. It's not going to end well for him, but at least he's happy. That's that's the most important thing. Up next, we got a nice psychedelic Coca-Cola, I would say, on that one. 37 out of 40. I'm going to show you guys what time sounds like. You guys ready? Uh, didn't make the noise as much as I thought, but... You get the idea. Just like the picture on the front, a guy has a pog now. That's pretty cool. That, my friends, is definition of the 90s. We got a Coca-Cola Christmas polar bear on his Coca-Cola snowboard way up in the mountains. He's just, he's not even touching the mountain. He's literally in the clouds. That is how good of a snowboarder he is. Watch out, Sean White. There's a new bear. 1995. And last but not least, we have on this one, we have, watch your eyes, being pulled in. If you want to get a Coca-Cola, I understand. I kind of want one now, too. We have three more to go through. I'm going to see if there is, we'll see if we get a slammer to the gym. These are cool. All right, that's what we have next. Let's see if we have any doubles. That is remarkably not that different. This is what time sounds like. You guys ready? Look at that. That is really too bad. Thank you, Coca-Cola. They just... Okay, they're getting lazy now. The guy at the printing shop was like, let's just make them different colors that the kids won't care. They really were running out of ideas at this point. They thought, what different kinds of patterns and colors can we do to push our product? And at the same time... And at the same time, make it, into, make it into a toy. Oh, I see a slammer. I see a slammer. That's exciting. All right, let's see what we got. Oh, ho, ho, ho. I knocked the camera. It's totally worth it. All right. I stand corrected. Just when I thought a polar bear snowboarding was, you know, the, the best of the best, I was wrong. Polar bear playing ice hockey. And I'm guessing stuck to another. No, I was wrong. That's why you should never assume. Assumptions are deadly. This one, you know, we've got a polar bear with what I would say a snowman, but do you guys see the look on the snowman's face? You see how it looks very suspiciously like the polar bear's face with the nose? Something something weird is going on there. That's like a, the bear and the, I, I don't even know what that, a snowman bear. I, one of the two, you guys tell me. That's something interesting there. And look at this, this, wow. Okay, this, it's hard to look at, but I love it. It's, it's everything I, I was hoping for this Christmas. A red Coca-Cola Slammer with the bear on it. And it looks like he's doing some cross-country skiing. You know, he's not going down a slope. He's staying horizontal on this one. But the shine coming off of this, especially with the light, it's hard to look at, guys. It's, it's beautiful. It's like the sun. You, you can't look at it too much directly head on. Otherwise, your eyes just can't handle it. But the sheer beauty is is something to be admired, I have to say. It's got some weight to it. All right, we got one more. Let's see. I don't want to give it away, but I am not seeing another slammer. But that's okay. You know, you can't slam them all. Just only. Only a few. Let's, let's see what we got in this last pack. We have some more. They really thought, you know, ice, 
if something's going to die, how do we make this fun? Because the reality is when, when kids ask their parents, what happened to those ice cubes? You're not going to want to tell them. I mean, it's going to be, it's going to be traumatic for them. And they thought, you know, maybe if we could have them swimming and make it less traumatic and just make it joyful, kids will love it. They'll say the ice is going to a better place. And that's what's important to remember here. More time. I actually like this design. This is one of my favorite ones so far. Another double. Last but not least, hey, you know, it's, it sounds like you're cracking open a Coke when you're peeling these apart. Maybe that's what they were going for. More of these designs. I think that's the last one. Once again, this slammer it was all worth it. Guys, let me know in the comments, did you have Pogs growing up as a kid? And if you did, did you ever have a slammer like this? I'm gonna have to frame this or, you know, just carry it around with me, one of the two. It's, it's too beautiful to just forget about. All right, my friends, that is it for the video today. Let me know, did you have a favorite 90s gift that you got during Christmas time? And I bet it wasn't Coca-Cola Pogs, but if it was, you know, shout out to you. I really think this will take you back more than anyone else. Please be aware of the ice cubes this holiday season. They're often forgotten and they're not smiling. That's, that's a lie. All right, my friends, that is it for the video today. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know. What was your favorite 90s memory growing up around Christmas time? Let me know in the comments below, and I will see you on the next one.